set for baseball here this evening. For the man, the second baseman. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. These Phillies, as they enter play here tonight, fellas, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Hey, Matty V, we're taking a look at a team right here, D Row, through five games of this home. High in the air and deep to left center field. And that is off the wall. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Well, looks like they were determined to be aggressive early, and it almost results in a home run in the first at bat of the game, but he'll settle for a double and hope the number two man can pick him up. Andres Jimenez stands in as he looks at ball one here. The 1 0 he is looked at for the first strike. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Matthew Ross. Hey, d -Row, this is a pitcher's best friend. Matthew Ross, very wide strike zone. Yeah, no excuses from the offense today. You know coming in when you see the lineup card and Matt Ross is behind the dish, you better be aggressive. The one-two. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Anytime you get rookies just breaking into the big leagues, you have to expect a certain amount of this. There aren't any easy at-bats at this level, and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. Behind 0-2 now. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself in a tough spot to hit. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Now, after back-to-back -back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in, or at least getting him over. First opportunity for him here with the leadoff man still standing at second. Two gone now. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So they get a man to second here in the opening half inning, but fail to capitalize. It's the Mets zero. Phillies coming to bat. You're watching MLB Network. Marcus Stroman, a right-hander from the Empire State, gets the starting assignment here. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Marcus Stroman, not a real big guy. First-round draft pick out of Duke University. Good power sinker, 92 to 94 miles an hour. His slider is good. Will throw an occasional curveball and changeup. His best trait, ultimate competitor. And boy, big problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. After that off-balance swing right there, you find yourself down 0-2 and wishing you were back on deck with the donut on your bat, visualizing hitting a home run. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one gone. Gene Segura standing in. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. Oh, less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0-1. Hey, newsflash, think he was guessing, boys? Because that was an ugly swing right there. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive, and will do it again on 0-2. Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Parker is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Batting third. The right field. And Bryce Harper will dig in at the plate. Two hits and eight tries for the series. And this pitch just about saws him off as he can't get extended at all. It's strike one. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. He played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. Settling in now, Clint Frazier. He's had a real nice season in the batting average department, but he'll need to turn it on a bit down the stretch if he wants a chance at claiming that coveted batting title. You know, this guy's had a terrific season right now. 
third in average as we're winding down the stretch. This guy's had a solid year. He really has, and he'd have to get smoking hot to chase down the batting title leader right now. But if you would have told him coming out of spring training, if he could finish in the top five in batting average, everyone would have signed that in blood. Fouled away. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Skied into straightaway right. Harper has a read on it. One out. Batting fifth, the third baseman, number 24, Robinson Cano. So coming to the plate, Robinson Cano. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Here's the pitch. And here is strike one call to the 37 year old veteran up there. Nothing in one. Good knuckle curve, and he's got him behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Back up the middle. Gregorius is there. Throw to first, and Cano's a ground out victim. Two gone. Batting seven. The center fielder, number 28. Jarrett Marker. Standing in, Jarrett Parker, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Swings through it for strike number two. Hey, I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus. He's commanding the fastball, really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seemed timid and scared to attack the zone. Reined in. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Late. JT Realmuto head to head history with Marcus Stroman. He's batting at a 385 clip. Two of those hits were for home runs. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Parker is going to get back and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. Not shortstop. So next to the plate for the Phils, Didi Gregorius. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Bottom of the second here with no score. Goodness, 0-2 now. Hey, I can't have one of my best left-handed power bats fishing for balls off the plate. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Wow, kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, so you'd think you'd go right back there, but instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. Rosario ranges back, and he has it for route number two. Batting good. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He's two for seven in the series so far. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0 and 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Stroman gets the sign and the pitch. Another one sent foul. And he popped him up. And no one will track it down. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Two out, nobody on.
Good slider there gets a swing and miss. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at two to three and the inning is over. So the. First pitch of the at bat on its way. This one for the shortstop Gregorius. Throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So with one away for him here in the inning let's take a moment to check out the standings and as you can see their lead is just a game and a half entering play here today. Next up from New York Marcus Stroman and you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line drops in a strike to start the at bat nothing in one. Man this guy's in a good groove right now seven straight retired he's locked in. Swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game with a bump. So far this inning, four pitches and two outs. Got the first guy on one pitch, and then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three pitch strikeout. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario, as he'll take a look at ball one. Fouled off. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. And the cutter got him swinging. Strike three, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. Home half of the third coming up, no score. So the next hitter to dig in will be Andrew McCutcheon. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. That's not an at bat he or his hitting coach are going to be happy with at all. It's bad enough to go down on three pitches, but none of them were even in the strike zone. That's a bad look. Adam Hazley is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250 and even 20 home runs and 37 RBIs. And it's fouled away. Phillies are still looking to crack into the hit column in this one. Oh and this is swung on and missed four strikeouts already and that's out number two. For me check swings are right there next to bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an up to make. Taking a look at show motion the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough so I think the call was right. Swing a soft liner. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. We'll head to the fourth still. Andres Jimenez the next to bat. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Now here it comes. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Always tough for one of these base umpires to make a call on a guy's check swing. It's not a great angle, and everything happens so quickly, so they really have to be paying attention out there. Looking at the replay, I think he got it right, so that's a tip of the cap for the blue. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. 
Real Muto waits on it. Two down. Now batting. So with two gone here in the fourth, let's check out our pitch speed comparison for the two starters. Both guys pretty close. Top speeds of 95 and 94. The first pitch is hit pretty well out to right. Back goes Harper. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Mets go down one, two, three. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still. So striding in, Alec Bohm back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring in Gene Segura. First pitch on its way. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Oh, and a half swing there on a pitch out of the zone. Indeed, it's strike two. A swing and a miss for out number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. It's so hard to hit when you're behind the count 0 and 2, right? You have to protect for the fastball. You have to look for the soft stuff down and away. You're really at a disadvantage when you fall behind 0 and 2. Bryce Harper will stand in for a second time here as he swings and misses there. It's nothing in one. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Harper behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Hey, this is an amazing inning right here. Attacking the zone, keeping his defense invested. Chance to get off the field super quick. And he fouls this one off. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. And another foul ball. The next 0-2. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Another 0 and 2 coming. Check swing and a quick appeal down to third. But Daryl Parker says he did not go around. It's ball one. Stroman steps into the windup. Here's the one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. Here he comes again, 1-2. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Through four, still tied, nothing, nothing. And we're back from Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with the Mets manager to discuss his thoughts on his club's offense so far, and he was pretty blunt in saying they're just not having very good at-bats. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. Thank you, Heidi. Frazier, the former Yankee, he came here by way of trade earlier this year. I know he tell you he'd like to be playing a little bit better, but I think it's as advertised for this ball club right now. I think the manager is getting exactly what they expected. Here's another one, too. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. Swing, and I believe this one is going to find the seats as well. It does, so quite a battle here as it remains one and two. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. 
So now still back. nothing against Third him eight. on the scoreboard here in the Love fifth it. as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And you can see that these guys currently find themselves fourth in the NL in that category. Robinson Cano is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. A ball and a strike. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Sent on the ground out to second. Segura has it. Throw to first, and Cano's a ground out victim. Two gone. The center fielder, one and eight. Ready for another Jarrett. chance? Jarrett Parker. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. Halfway home, still no score. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with Philadelphia's manager during the break about the Phillies' offensive production to this point. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Digging in. Didi Gregorius. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Out in front here is this one scorched. Foul to the left. Here it comes on nothing and two. Again, he sends it out of play. Another 0-2 home. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Real Muto gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Slowly hit to first. I don't think they can get two. There's one. And he's going to beat the offline throw to first as the first baseman couldn't get the foot back in time. Took a pretty long time for the shortstop to receive the ball that time. So that gave the runner plenty of time to bear down on him and take him out. Hopefully everyone's okay down there. Hit hard towards center. And that's in there. Base hit. Now a long throw to third. And they've got the runner hung up between first and second. Now he throws on the brakes, but he can't get back to first, and he's nailed for the second out. Big mistake there. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Fouled away. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. He struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Philly strand one, sixth inning coming up. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and next is the catcher, Wilson Ramos. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play for the now first out of the inning. Marcus Stroman. In now, Marcus Stroman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Slow little roller to third. He's right there. Throw on to first, two gone. 
now back the second baseman. Ahmed. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Ahmed Rosario. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field, and this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. Hey, every once in a while, the speed guy will jump up and bite one. He absolutely crushed that baseball. Doesn't fit his usual tool description, but he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. Now in the box, Andres Jimenez and the starter. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run through five and a half. Ready now, Adam Hazley. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Right fielder giving chase. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Scott Kingery will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Kingery. Commits to the pitch inside, and he definitely went around. That's strike one. He'll step in here at 275. Five homers and a dozen RBIs. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. Even though he was fooled in the box right there by that pitch, he was able to keep his hands back, not overcommit, and stay in this at bat. One and two now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Rosario is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. The batter, the third baseman. So striding forward now, oh. Alec Bone. He's hitless in the game, as is much of the rest of his team. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the... Ladies Sir Anthony Dominguez will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Number 58. Michael Conforto is at the plate now. He's quickly behind 0 and 1. Hey, not too often we see this hitter come outside his game plan, outside the zone, but that pitch was just so tempting. Behind 0 and 2 now. Down the third baseline. And there's a base hit, so maybe some insurance here to lead off the seventh. Hey, that's a nice job by the batter right there. Left-handed batter going down the third baseline. You don't see that happen too often. A lot of things have to go right. And with the third baseman playing off the line, woof, that's a nice job of hitting right there. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. A ball and a strike to the Mets' first baseman. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. 1 and 2 now. Nobody out, runner on first. Hit out towards second. Segura fields it cleanly. On to first, a double play. The batter. The so base is empty now yeah. after the double play. And digging in is the outfielder, Clint Frazier. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. The windup and the 0-1. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the Ladies inning and is over. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the veteran Let's second go. baseman, Gene Segura. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. The right fielder, number three. 
Here's Bryce Harper now. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. Here comes the first pitch. Harper swings and hits it very well to right. Looking up is the right fielder. That one is out of here. This game is tied. A solo home run off the bat of Bryce Harper. And that is home run number 63 on the year. And it brings the Phillies back even now at one apiece. Certainly a tape measure shot there as we take a look at it with our show track technology. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity, so it comes as no surprise that it carried as far as it did. Fouled off. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. One out, nobody on. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Here's Didi Gregorius. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Now a ball popped up behind the plate for Ramos. And Ramos will look up and make the catch to retire the side. Ready to begin the eighth. And standing in is the veteran third baseman, Robinson Cano. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. Oh, good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Now a ball lying to the left side, but foul. And it's fouled away. Again, a 1-2. And here's a swing and a miss by Cano as he set down on strikes, and there's one away. Some guys with big arms like this, they're just chuckers. They just throw the ball as hard as they can, and where it ends up isn't that big of a concern, but that wasn't the case there. That was a very well-pitched fastball right on the corner at the knees. Good luck hitting that one. Scooped up. Throw gets him. Two down. Well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time. And, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch. He rolled right over. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Into the wind. The 0-1. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. What a nasty pitch right there. Batter thought it was going to hit him, and it ends up breaking into it. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. Mets go down one. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Robert Gesellman will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Tomas Nito is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Gesellman primarily attacks hitters with his sinker, but not your typical sinker. He throws it much harder than most. He's a hard guy to get elevation on. In a day and age where a lot of hitters are looking to lift and separate and get the ball in the air, he has some good sink, not great sink, but he makes hitters hit the ball on the ground. And when he's on, you'll see a lot of ground balls. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Final line there for the Mets starting pitcher. He was great all night long. One of the big keys to having a good pitching performance is not being afraid to throw the ball into the strike zone. And this guy certainly wasn't in this one. Didn't allow a walk all game long. And it's quickly 0-2. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. 
Protecting on 0 2, so we'll do it again. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Digging in, Adam Hazley. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Slapped hard the opposite way. Frazier is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Phillies down in order. Striding into the box, Tomas Nito. And his guys need him to get things started here in the top half of the ninth. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 home. He's in complete command of his two-seamer right now. It's got great movement, great depth, running all over the place. This offense is going to have a tough time. The one-two. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The batter of the ball. Digging in and looking for more, Ahmed Rosario. He went deep last time up. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. Bases are empty, one man out. High in the air out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it. Makes the play and there are two gone now. Now that hooked up. Andre Jimenez. So digging in now. Andre Jimenez. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. No balls and one strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. A ball and two strikes. Gotta love a reliever that comes in firing bullets. And his fastball is a good one. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. And he strikes him out on a good pitch. So one run can win it as we head to the bottom of the inning. So they go quiet. Jay Bruce will grab a bat to pinch hit here. And you wonder if he'll be swinging for the downs trying to walk off with a victory. Hit sharply on the ground. He's got it. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. Now batter. Digging in once again, Alec Bone. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. This is on the ground over to first. Throw gets him, two down. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Not his best effort that time. It's strike one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. He's going to have to take a deep breath. A little bit ultra aggressive at the plate right now after fishing at the first pitch. And looking. Bullet to second base. A fine play in that end. Hector Neris takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Digging in to try it again. Michael Conforto. He'll be the one to start things out as we begin the tenth. Here comes the first pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Catch is made out there by McCutcheon, and that's the first out. Now batting. The first pitch. And next to be the Mets cleanup hitter, Pete Alonzo. He's batting cleanup, but it's been shut down so far at the plate. 0 for 3. No balls and a strike to count. One out, nobody on. Not cheated on that swing, but the splitters by him 0 and 2. 
That's just a great pitch right there. Great execution. He just got that hitter to think that pitch was knee high. Nasty diving out of the zone. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. The 0-2 once more. He is swung on and missed strike three. Well, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Clint Frazier is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit, possibly more. Running hard, he's digging for second. And your go-ahead run is in there at second base as he's got himself a two-out double. And time will be called here as with the important go-ahead run at second base, they'll opt to go and get a little more speed out there. Strike one to start the at-bat. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And that catches the high outside corner, one and two now. And he strikes him out here for out number three. So after a scoreless top half, they'll have a chance. Janeshwi Fargus will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Now playing left field. Number 18. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. The batter. The catcher. Real Muto. So here's the cleanup hitter, JT Real Muto. He's working on a one for three thus far. Hit sharply on the ground, and that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. A hey, nice piece of hitting right there to put the winning run on base. I know there's one out in the inning. They got one more to play with that they could potentially be productive with, but this guy's looking to end this right now and put something in the gap. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius, as he sends it on the ground to first. And he tries to take it from a knee, but this gets by a base hit. Throw comes in quickly, so the winning run advances to second now with only one away. Boy, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that hole between first and second base, d -Row. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him. The winning run at second. However, the double play in order here. hit ball to second. But well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. The left fielder, number 22, Andrew McCutcheon. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Andrew McCutcheon. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw on to first, and we are going. 11th inning set to get underway, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Jarrett Parker. 0-1 the count. Here's the pitch. And he is cruising now. It's 0-2. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Here comes another 0-2 skied into very shallow right. Harper has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Jeff McNeil will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. 249 the average coming in. A dozen home runs, 57 runs batted in. And there are two away now. The catcher, number three, Tomas Nido. Coming to the plate now, Tomas Nido. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. No balls and one strike. Ready with the 0 and 1. Strike two. 
Yeah, this is straight survival mode. Down 0-2, the numbers are definitely not with the batter here. And he strikes him out here for round number three, so after his score... Jerry Spamilia takes over now to start the home 11th, and he's looking to get this one to the visiting 12th. From the stretch. Familia has racked up over 70 innings on the mound. And when you look at his whip over those innings, it's not a particularly pretty number, over 1.5. So he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base paths, unfortunately. The pitch. Oh, and this at bat is quickly moving from bad to worse. It's 0-2 now. Woo, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. 0-2 delivery. Hit on the ground out to short. Reined in. And there's one away. Ronald Torayas will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 74. Ronald. This is flared out towards second. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Now batting, third baseman, Alec. Now to the plate, Alec Bone, struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. First pitch coming, here it is. Line towards center field.
Parker is there to make the catch, and that means we... Adam Morgan gets the ball as he'll take over to start this 12th inning. Number 27. Back to the top of the Mets order, digging in Ahmed Rosario. Grounded to the right, and this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Up next to the net. Into the box now, Andres Jimenez, Andres. trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. One there. Striding in, Michael Conforto. is one away, the runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Digging in now, Gene Segura. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Skied into straightaway right. Conforto is there and he'll bring this one in. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And now it will be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. J.T. Real Muto on the night. He's two for four with a pair of singles. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Oh, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Score remains. So here's Pete Alonzo, due up for the four, five, and six hitters, and they're hoping that this is the part of the lineup that can get something going. Yeah, only one run on the board so far for them. They just haven't had consistently good at bats. And he drops a changeup right down Broadway for a called strike. You know, it's great to be patient, make a pitcher work and all that stuff to try to get walks, but you have to be ready to hit. And that was a really hittable pitch, and now you've got to deal with an 0-2 count. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Janeshwi Fargus is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Line drive to center field. Hazley is there, and he has it for the first out. Now batter, third baseman, Robinson. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up Robinson Cano. In there for strike one. Hit hard towards second. And that'll get down for a base hit. And with that, the go-ahead runs up to second now with only one away. You'll only see about 10 of these pitches a year. The change up on a tee in the middle of the plate, but tip your hat to the batter right there. He did not come unglued, stayed within himself, and drove it for a base hit. Not the best change up there, an easy take. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the one and two pitch. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. Scooped up. Segura for one. Well, he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Robinson Chirinos will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. And this is taken outside for ball one. Runners on first and third, two away. Two and oh now. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. And that's taken for a strike on the inside corner. Two and one. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hazley is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Yet another shot to end it right here as we move on. 
Jake Hager stays in the ball game after pinch hitting as he'll take over at first base. Miguel Castro enters the game now as he'll get the responsibility of trying to send this one to a 14th inning. He set and the pitch. And he popped him up. And this will land foul. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Nothing in two count. And the pitch. Hit hard towards second. And he is going to have extra bases to start it out. And your winning run will be in scoring position. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, and none bigger than that one as this ball game is over. Well, everyone was treated to a really well-played ball game in this one, and the guy you see there turned in a particularly notable performance, so he's our top player of the game in this one. He was one of a few guys that really oh, swung the bat.